The world millions of years ago was a very different place. The continents were joined together, forming a supercontinent called Pangaea. The climate was warmer, and lush forests covered much of the land. This was the Paleozoic era. During this time, a new type of animal emerged, the reptile. Reptiles were different from their amphibian ancestors in several ways. They had scaly skin that protected them from drying out. They laid eggs with a tough, leathery shell that could survive on land. These adaptations allowed reptiles to move away from water and colonize new habitats. One of the most important adaptations of reptiles was the amniotic egg. This type of egg has a membrane called the amnion that surrounds the developing embryo. The amnion is filled with fluid which cushions the embryo and keeps it moist. The amniotic egg allowed reptiles to reproduce on land without the need for water. The Permian period, the last period of the Paleozoic era, was a time of great change, marked by significant shifts in climate and environment. The climate became drier, and the forests began to shrink, leading to vast changes in the landscape and the types of life it could support. Reptiles, with their ability to conserve water, were well suited to these new conditions, thriving where other species struggled to survive. They flourished and diversified, evolving into a wide variety of forms, each adapted to different niches in the changing environment. Some reptiles, like the pelicosaurs, grew to enormous sizes, becoming the giants of their time. The Dimetrodon, with its distinctive sailback, was one of the largest land animals of its time, a true icon of the Permian landscape. Other reptiles, like the diapsids, developed a pair of holes called temporal fenestrae. In their skulls, a key evolutionary trait. This adaptation made their skulls lighter and allowed for stronger jaw muscles, giving them a significant advantage in hunting and feeding. The diapsids would go on to become the ancestors of all modern reptiles, including lizards, snakes, turtles, crocodiles and birds, shaping the future of reptilian evolution. The evolution of the amniotic egg and other adaptations allowed reptiles to thrive in the Permian period, ensuring their survival and dominance. They were poised to become the dominant land animals on Earth, setting the stage for the next great era of life. Among the most successful groups of reptiles were the Therapsids. These animals first appeared in the Middle Permian and quickly rose to prominence. Therapsids were different from other reptiles in several ways. They had higher metabolisms which allowed them to be more active. They also had more efficient limbs which were positioned beneath their bodies instead of sprawled out to the sides. This gave them greater agility and speed. Some therapsids even developed fur, which helped to insulate them and keep them warm. Therapsids were a diverse group of animals. Some, like the dicynodonts, were herbivores with beaked skulls and tusks. Others, like the gorgonopsians, were fearsome predators with saber-like teeth. The therapsids were remarkably successful. They dominated the land for millions of years and were well on their way to evolving into mammals. At the end of the Permian period, disaster struck, altering the course of life on Earth forever. A series of colossal volcanic eruptions, the likes of which had never been seen before, ripped apart the Earth's crust, creating massive fissures and lava flows. These eruptions released massive amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, causing the planet to warm rapidly, leading to a severe greenhouse effect. The oceans became acidified, and oxygen levels plummeted, creating a hostile environment for marine life. The Permian-Triassic extinction event, also known as the Great Dying, was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history, wiping out a vast majority of species. Over 90% of all marine species and 70% of all terrestrial species perished, leaving behind a desolate world. The Therapsids, a group of mammal-like reptiles, were hit hard by the extinction, struggling to survive in the new harsh conditions. Many groups were wiped out entirely, leaving no trace of their existence except for fossils. Only a few lineages survived, including the Cynodonts, a group of small nocturnal therapsids that would eventually give rise to mammals, our distant ancestors. The Great Dying was a turning point in Earth's history, reshaping the planet's biological and geological landscape. 
It marked the end of the Paleozoic Era and the beginning of the Mesozoic Era, the Age of Reptiles, setting the stage for the rise of dinosaurs. A New World The Triassic period, the first period of the Mesozoic Era, was a time of recovery. The Earth's ecosystems were slowly rebuilding after the devastation of the Permian extinction. The climate was hot and dry, and the continents were beginning to drift apart. In this new world, a new group of reptiles emerged, the archosaurs. The archosaurs were a diverse group of reptiles that included crocodiles, pterosaurs, and dinosaurs. They shared several key adaptations that allowed them to thrive in the Triassic. They had a more upright stance than other reptiles, which gave them greater speed and agility. They also had a more efficient respiratory system, which allowed them to breathe more easily in the hot, dry climate. These adaptations gave archosaurs a competitive edge, and they quickly rose to dominance. Enter the archosaurs. The archosaurs were a diverse and incredibly successful group of reptiles that roamed the earth millions of years ago. They quickly diversified into a wide variety of forms, filling many of the ecological niches left vacant by the Permian extinction, which had wiped out a significant portion of Earth's species. Some archosaurs, like the phytosaurs, resembled modern-day crocodiles and lived in rivers and lakes, hunting for fish and other aquatic prey. Others, like the Rawisushans, were fearsome predators that walked on two legs, using their powerful limbs to chase down prey on land. One remarkable group of archosaurs, the pterosaurs, evolved the ability to fly, a groundbreaking adaptation in the animal kingdom. Pterosaurs had wings that were formed by a membrane of skin stretched between their elongated fourth finger and their bodies, allowing them to soar through the skies. They were the first vertebrates to evolve true flight, and they ruled the skies for millions of years, long before birds appeared. Another group of archosaurs, the dinosaurs, would eventually become the most successful group of land animals of all time, dominating the planet for over 160 million years. The Triassic period was a time of great experimentation and diversification for the archosaurs, leading to the evolution of many unique and specialized species. They were a remarkable group of animals that helped to shape the course of life on Earth, leaving a lasting legacy that can still be seen in the descendants of these ancient reptiles today. The First Dinosaurs The first dinosaurs appeared in the late Triassic about 230 million years ago. They were small, bipedal predators that were closely related to the pterosaurs. These early dinosaurs, such as and were agile and fast, with sharp teeth and claws for catching prey. They were also warm-blooded, which gave them an advantage in the hot, dry climate. One of the key adaptations of dinosaurs was the development of a hip structure that allowed them to walk upright on two legs. This gave them greater speed and agility than other reptiles, which walked with a sprawling gait. Dinosaurs also had hollow bones, which made them lighter and faster. These adaptations, along with their warm-bloodedness, allowed dinosaurs to thrive in the Triassic period. A Lasting Legacy The rise of the reptiles was a pivotal chapter in the history of life on Earth. From their humble beginnings in the Paleozoic era, reptiles diversified into a dazzling array of forms, from the sail-backed pelicosaurs to the mammal-like theropsids. The Permian-Triassic extinction event, while devastating, paved the way for the rise of the archosaurs, a group that would dominate the Mesozoic era. Among the archosaurs, the dinosaurs emerged as the ultimate terrestrial vertebrates, ruling the planet for over 165 million years. Their reign saw the evolution of colossal sauropods, fearsome theropods, and the enigmatic armoured dinosaurs. The legacy of the reptiles extends beyond the Mesozoic, however. Birds, the direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs, continue to grace our skies, a testament to the enduring success of the reptilian lineage. Conclusion The Ever-Changing Tapestry of Life The story of the reptiles before the dinosaurs is a testament to the power of adaptation and the ever-changing nature of life on Earth. It is a story of resilience, of diversification, and of the enduring will to survive. 
As we delve into the fossil record, we uncover not just the bones of extinct creatures, but a glimpse into the grand narrative of life itself. The rise and fall of different groups of reptiles, the catastrophic extinction events, and the subsequent evolution of new forms all contribute to the rich tapestry of life's history. The reptiles before the dinosaurs played a crucial role in shaping the world as we know it, and their story continues to inspire awe and wonder in those who study the distant past.